up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Nichols, a huge channel. So today is Friday. We're going to start a new segment on Friday. If you hate it, I'm sorry. But I think it's something cool that we could do. And then it's like RCS Fridays. Uh, so Friday was like kind of Fan Friday. Fan Friday hasn't been really working out. So RCS Fridays allows me to play one of my favorite decks, RCS, and like all the different things you can play. Uh, I've been hyped on RCS for a long time. I mean, I've played it multiple, multiple different times throughout this year. And so I think what we could do is, like, every Friday show a different showcasing of Arceus. I mean, this past weekend, we had four different uh, four different variants of Arceus do well. Uh, three, four, I think four is probably better to say. Um, but, and that is Arceus Giratina did win. Uh, we know it won Portland. And also, a different version did win. Uh, good old Sing? Don't quote me on that. Why does Limitless not have the name of it up? Hang on, I can find out. Give me one second. Uh, what was it? What else did it win? Uh, no, I don't know anymore. Hang on, I can find out. I promise. Uh, nope. Sure can't. Oh, major event data. There it is. 2023. And it was Singapore. I was right. It was Singapore. Let's go, Josh. Do you remember correctly? Uh, so another version. I mean, it, it is RC Giratina, but it's a little bit different because it plays like Shirin's gear and stuff like that. Uh, which to me is like a different variant, but we'll talk about the first place RCS V Star Giratina. And then we we play different various versions of RCS. We have the new set coming out, which will change RCS even more with Iona and like different Pokemon. And the goal about RCS is the color stacker. So you can literally play with anything you want to. Uh, but this weekend it did get first place. Let's go RCS two weekends back to back. It has won a tournament. And there two or two I guess back to back big tournaments, it has won uh tournaments right with eurc with one regionals so next weekend is hartford we'll see hey, can you go three for three uh but yeah rc's v star has a trading nova 200 attached three base community cards uh and attached to your pokemon v any way you like then shuffle your deck starbird is going to look for two cards and put them in your hand so you have this consistency with like starbird trading nova power uh, energy accelerate there's a broken combo you have rc's v you can still trinity charge to find three basic energies and attach your v pokemon any way you like and a two two Giratina. <clears throat> Giratina V-Star is just a strong attacker, does 280. You do have to put two energies attached to your Pokemon in the Law Zone. Now, this can be counted by double turbo energy, and it's from anywhere. So you can put a double turbo to the bench, and then also that to like hit the 280. And then, of course, with Choice Ball, you can do 310, which is great numbers. Cleansing Glass, you can do 310, which is good against Gardevoir. So you have these really cool outs and stuff like that. And Giratina V also has Shred, which 160, and it doesn't matter what effect your opponent has, you're going to take a knockout. Uh, we have a 2-2 V-Barrel for that Dusty Sizer. You already have five cards in your hand. And Squover, the MVP itself. Uh, Nest Stash, put a card, put your hand on the bottom of your deck, then draw the top card. And then you hit the card that you need, and then V-Barrel to draw five. It's a really cool combo. Squover to V-Barrel. There's no pumpkin we played, which is like, which is insane, but I guess we don't need it. Uh, one escape from one switch. You have the Alice with Arceus, which is pretty cool. Four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball for massive consistency. Two tracking shoes, which is pretty interesting. Like, two, just two. Um, there's other stuff I maybe want to play, but maybe the consistency of, like, track shoes is, like, better than the tech cards that I would play. Four ball sorter. Uh, this is something that Sammy Sakum, I think it was Sammy Sakum, did play at EUIC and saw success with that. I want to say it was Sammy Sakum. Um, but now, of course, I can't find EUIC as quickly on this paper so i don't know i don't know oh european internationals i think it was let's see here uh oh doesn't have the deck list but i'm pretty sure Samus Akum did play uh for next for boss orders to start with a trend for judge this is why the deck is so strong you just like judge and peak judge put your opponent at four we are at four at the path of the peak and vacate using abilities three research for consistency discard your hand draw seven right hana pokemon's knocked out you touch energy for your discard pile it's one of your uh, one of your Pokemon. And this is really, really cool. If you attach the energy turn one, they take a knockout there too. You can then right on to a Pokemon. If you have double RCS, you can like RCS into V Star, then use right on to find the double turbo. Choice Spell do additional 30. Cleanse the Gloves do additional 32 psychic Pokemon, regardless of EX or V uh, for double turbo. Two V Guard, so Mew has a hard time knocking you out. Another V Pokemon as well. Four Grass and four Psychic. That is needed for Giratina. It does need a Grass and a Psychic Energy. Uh, so yeah, this week we're going to play. Art Tina, uh, I hope this this was saved. Uh, it's a deck that I was testing. It's actually my second pick. 
Um, going into the cup last week, and I did end up playing a Lugia deck, but I was really, like, I was really, really tempted to play it. Um, I just didn't have the best luck, and I thought Lugia had the better outs. Um, but I think Lugia is still in a good spot. I like Lugia a lot. I like Lugia, but today we're talking about Arceus, Giratina. Uh, next week we have some interesting decks, and then after that is Hartford, and even more interesting decks to come with Arceus. If not, we have other decks that we can play with Arceus, so... RCS Fridays, is that a real thing? I don't know. We're going to call it Fan Friday for now. And I remember somebody at one point said, like, hey, for a Fan Friday, if you don't have any votes, just play the deck that you want to play. Well, the deck I want to play is Arceus. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Got the Arceus sleeves. We do have a mulligan. They got a mulligan. So we're going to be chilling. 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, we found. Woo! We found the turn one double turbo. Oh, it is a dark deck. Interesting. Uh, so attached Arceus. Press done. And a Gradient Greninja. So we can go double turbo, judge our opponent to four. And then if they're playing a Lost Souls like they think they are, I don't think they're going to even take a knockout. This could be Darkrai. Darkrai did do like, oh, turbo VRP. Yes, we'll find out. No talking. We'll find out. What you got there, opponent? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? It's a lot of dark energy, so it makes me think it's Darkrai. But we'll see. They are taking a second. If this is Darkrai, you're going to grab Moltres. I think Moltres is totally cool, right? And Darkrai. That's probably your best two outs. Uh, what they're probably doing right now is looking to see what's in the deck, what's prized, what's not prized, all that kind of fun stuff, right? Uh, so we're chilling. Also, I did upgrade. I did buy all the full arts and stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to get, like, Psychic Energy. Ooh, it is Lost Box. Woo! It's a Lost Box. Okay. Did not expect the Lost Box. Yo, two different comfies? Let's go, my guy. We are chilling. Uh, so this matchup, you're gonna get double, like, multiple Arceus. Giratina is not that good. Maybe, like, one of, just in case they play Dragonite, but I don't think this list is playing Dragonite. I think it's gonna be more like Nick Moffat slash Alex Jemanski's build of Comfy, which doesn't play any V Pokemon. Yeah, so. Ooh, an escape rope. Whoa, a Clara! Holy cow! Maybe talk to Giratina. Hmm, that's kind of scary, but we'll judge. Put him at four. We get Path to the Peak as well. Oh my goodness, I didn't click escape rope! Did I click escape rope? Oh my goodness. What a misplay. We might have to bit seek a next turn. Did I click escape rope? Am I pretty sure? I thought I clicked. I have to... I'm not going to rewatch it. I'm not going to. If I misclick, that's. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that if I did. Nest ball. Okay. Why did you retreat? Okay. Do they have the Colrus? Beautiful and everything. Oh, must be a hard choice there, buddy. Must be a hard decision. What card was that? Ooh, a switch card. Pokegear, they really found this colors experiment. Do they find one? Whoo! They're going to be spitting. Yeah. They'd be spitting. Okay. We'll bring up this Greninja. Okay. And we'll bit seeking. Lock a top four, put two in my hand. Okay. Uh okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh hmm. Mm, I don't know. That's a weird choice there, buddy. Weird choice, weird choice. Hey, they found one. They found a Colrus. Now, unfortunately, they're not, not going to knock out that Giratina, but then I can promote this and knock out the Kramer. We are doing 20 less. 
because of Power Edge and the DTE, but Grass Energy will knock out the Cramorant. But the problem is, we're getting two price cards here. That's definitely scary. So, what was that? Uh, don't... WWE Master! I just saw their name. They are a master of WWE. Yo. Let's go. Okay. Bye-bye. What was that? Dude, I, I just want it to stay on here. I don't care what I have wall sewn. I promise I don't. I don't care. Cram comes up. It's going to be spitting. And it's going to be taking a knockout. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have judged. But, like, the judge was like, okay. Oh, cool, man. I really appreciate that. What a top deck. Okay. 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 We're cooking now. One, two, three. I don't think they can take a knockout this turn. And then we can take a knockout on them. Um, this is where, like, shares care is, like, okay. Oh, trekking shoes. We can go trekking here. Go run around the clock. Uh, I am scared that they already took two price cards. I will be honest with y'all. But, yeah, th like, shares care is, like, okay. Because with, I guess it's that. Because you got shares care uh, damage Pokemon. VIP passes hit the bitch. Or, in the lost zone. Okay. So, they're up to nine. <clears throat> they need two more for good old Sableye. So we're definitely probably in a losing side of things because of my escape rope. <sighs> Misclick. Okay. But at least, hmm, at least my misclick allowed me to abyss seeking. So, take out what you want. What are they getting out of the deck? They're taking a second. What are you getting here, buddy? Are you seeing what's prize? You got four cards gone? Yo, can I just have it on my opponent's thing? Thank you. Oh, they're, they're going to be spitting, my guy. Yep. <clears throat> we'll be spitting this turn. There you go, buddy. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, that's a cool card. Yes, I do actually. Please put that in my hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, got the B doof. Hmm, that's kind of nervous. Makes me kind of nervous. I'll be honest. Makes me. Oh wait, I could have Ultra Ball for for an Arceus. Uh, I need one. Be quiet. I need one. Okay, hopefully they don't have Sableye. Go down to four. Because then this guy goes bye-bye. And they can horn it back out, which is scary. Stay alive, little b -doof. Oh, there's Core Spearmint. Do they find Sableye? Mm -hmm. Okay, Heavy Ball and VIP Pass. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty two good cards. Like put in there, you're like, yeah, I don't care about these cards. But like, yeah, I'm chilling. Now the thing is, they're out of they're out of Switch cards. They're only reliant on Escape Ropes and Beach cards. Do they have that? So, I mean, next time we're definitely looking about judging. We're trying to judge our opponent next turn. We can Ultra Ball. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's here. He's made an appearance. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, VIP Pass. And it doesn't matter who I send up if he escape ropes because, like, uh, oh, Nelly. Uh, because, like, this goes anywhere. All right, B-Doof, I don't think you're for this world, my buddy, my friend, my guy. 
My partner, you look so happy. <laughs> bye bye, friend. What a great soldier there he was. Uh huh. And like I said, I'm nervous that they're going to ping this for 120 and Echoing Horn the other one out. So. So get rid of those two. Find the V-Star. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go V-Star. We'll go Nassball, fail it. I could squove it. Don't get me wrong. I could squove it. And I know you think he's a hero, but I don't think squove it is needed. Yep, I don't need any of these cards. I'm just going to attach for a turn. And then judge. Okay. Oh, man. We, have to, we might have to discard the Squovit. I know. I know he's the MVP, guys. I know. Trust me. Sure. We're, at this point, we should grab all of our energies out of the deck. So good out of three. Uh huh. So I go. How much does this guy do? One eighty, right? Yeah. So we at least get the other RCs out, and if we get to the RCs V this turn, I can like a switch into a new one. So. And remember, their only option right now is the escape room. They played two so far. You have one of the price cards, one in there. They played one, two, two, two core so far. I don't think they lost on any. Once again, I gotta click my opponent's thing over and over again. It's kind of annoying. What card was that? Mirage Gate. Oh, good. Oh, they picked the Poke Gate over Mirage Gate. Hundred percent, right? No way. They whiffed again. A second Poke Gear whiff? Okay, boss order. Oh, they had temp they had I they had temptations. Okay. Bye bye. They had the Mirage Gate? Yeah they do. Let's go, Mirage Gate. Okay, now all they need is to Echo Horn plus C Bly my B Doof out. They're gonna one prize card. Oh, we shouldn't we shouldn't have benched a B Doof, man. What? Only two energies? Okay, there it is. I was like not really concerned, but I was like I was hoping. I was I was hopeful. Alright, Snorlax is sleeping. I don't have Judge in hand, which would definitely be good. So. I thought they were about to flip double heads. I was like, yo, let's go, busted. When you've been upset, I'd be like, yo, that's pretty cool. Alright, so 012, 1 and 2. Bye, buddy. We'll grab RC's V. I know it's confusing. We're grabbing RC's V, but that's because I'm about to Ultra Ball the RC's V and switch away to grab the RC's V star. And then I'm going to research so next time we can have the potential to play Judge. If we need to. I am very nervous, though, that we don't have... I forgot this. Oh, I forgot to hit the judge. Or the research. Uh, no. Oh, I'm full of misclicks right now. I get so busy talking, and then I just hit the wrong button. Ah, that's me right now. I'm trying to eat my microphone. Anyways, back to Pokemon. Alrighty. So another flower selecting. Let's go. They haven't bumped my path to the peak yet, which is, like, promising. But they only need one more price card, which is very nervous. Makes me very nervous. <sighs> Can they pull an Echoing Playoff? Echoing Horn Playoff? That's the real question. They are down all switch cards, two escape ropes, one beach cart. 
and a bunch of energies, but no energy recycler yet. What was that, a Sableye? And they're down to Clara. Yo, can we stop with the escape rope? Is that their third one, though? That's their third escape rope. So we're going to see another um, flower slides, which makes me think. No, that is a guarantee. No. Huh. Yeah, I think they got, they just got the escape rope and lost on the save line instead. Because last turn, they only switched into Snorlax and didn't double Comfy. Because they could have, like, double Comfy and then play the ball sorter, but they didn't last turn. Yo, another Snorlax. Another Snorlax. Do you have enough energies to do that, my guy? One, two. Yo, let's go. Do you have another one? Okay. I hope it goes. I hope they go Sableye. Uh, Sableye Mirage Gate. Or like Claire Mirage Gate. And then I'm like, good, good game, buddy. Because that checkmates. Oh, they got the Mirage Gate, but no Sableye right now. They will be able to take out the Sable, the Snorlax. Uh, yep, 100%. I need to put down a Giratina. Yes. Yep, I need to put down the Giratina just in case they play the fourth escape route. That big story for 180. Okay. Night, nice Norlax. It's still sleepy. He's a sleepy guy. Yeah, I need to find the Giratina actually. Hmm. Okay. Alright, beautiful. So we got this. We can retreat. The double turbo. Send up this. Attach a V-Guard to the V to the guaranteed V. So I can maybe retreat next turn. Uh I don't know if there's any more energies left in my deck though. We'll find out. I know there's 90 basic energies, and I think we've already used all of the V-Guards. We have one double turbo left. So that is now. So we go down to two. Going down to this last turn. Ooh, another double turbo. Then they go beach court clear and, and extend the hand. Oh, God. Uh-oh, money time. No Clara. So they can't boss order. Both Sableyes are... I mean, I don't think they play three Sableyes. You think they play three Sableyes? No chance. No shot. They play three Sableyes. That would be insane. They could, though. Do they only play one Claire? Is the last Claire prize? Because if they play Claire, I definitely would have, like, tried to flower selecting first before playing the Colors Experiment. Yo, they did play the second Clara. Are they going to Kyogre me? <laughs> you think they play Kyogre? I don't know. They're down three Mirage Gates. No, they're down four Mirage Gates. So they can't go Mirage Gate. They have to go for Sableye. Yeah, they got to go for Sableye. I play Cramorant. I'm just going to set up this guy. Unless there's some crazy play I don't know about. How much damage does Moltres do? Should I be scared of Moltres right now? Is that the, what I think I should be scared of? I think we got this game on lock, guys. Even after so many misplays and so many misclicks, that's how good this deck is. We're at, we're at, it's either going to happen or not happen. They got no cards left. They've already played Core Experiment. I don't think they play Sableye. And then everyone's going to... Oh, yes. Let's go. Woo! Let's go! Get out of here, Kramer. You don't even need, you don't even need <coughs> Sharon's Care. And we misclicked. I mean, I think maybe the end, the misclick was like very beneficial because it allows us the best seeking to draw more. Like, because if not, we would have been drawing like, 
Well, I guess technically we would have turned into Nova, and then like our deck would have been like randomized anyway, so it doesn't matter. Gary Bitsakas. Bitsakas? Bitsakas? Not sure how to say their name. I apologize. I'm not the best at saying people's names. So heads. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to go first. Are you kidding me? I love to go turn one touch of energy and say pass. Okay. I have no Pokemon. I wonder what deck I'm playing. I wonder what deck I'm playing. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what deck I'm playing. Yo, two mulligans? <sighs> Squovit. <laughs> MVP Squobit. It's not a lost box. Okay, Rodney. What are we playing against? If I told you I didn't know, would you believe me? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> don't get don't, I'm not gonna do that, dude. Oh, man, can you imagine turn one? You play a game of, like, if you hit, like, play a, a tournament, a game of, like, if you find this Quovit, you have to nest dash no matter what with it. That'd be a funny game, dude. That'd be so funny. Got the block going. Got the penny. Let's go. Got the mill tank. Double turbo to the active. And route does 10. Oh, wait, it's a charge. Duh, Josh. Duh. Duh, Josh. Gretnia has made an appearance. No, my brother. Okay, I think we're going to do this, this. Yes. Go RC's V Star. Yes. I can't attack this turn. Well, I can't do damage to Mill Tank. Well, okay, sorry, so sorry. I don't have the support of our next turn. There we go. That's what I meant to say. So we can do this. I should have I should escape her first. Sure. Okay. And Squover can actually attack. Just saying. <coughs> oh, we can go we can go trekking. We can go run a mile. So like if they boss the Squover and Snorlax, we can punch it with 20. So we'll eventually knock it out. Playing against the control deck. Research, r -r -r research. Okay. Sure. Bloop. Tails. Energy search for water. Okay. Nest ball. What are we looking for, buddy? A Yavata. Oh my God. Okay, I need break. I need boss order that guy up. ASAP. Now nah, we can just put 30 on the active. Squobit, I see you, buddy. Nope. Uh, do we believe in the Squobit? Yep. Not as lucky. 
Okay, I know this is going to seem weird, but I'm going to Trinity Nova first. I know it does zero damage, but I'm trying to attach energies to the active. So if it goes Evotol and Cry with Destruction, we at least attack back with the Graph energies. So that got the Evotol. Uh-huh. Yep. <coughs> okay. Don't hurt my Squovit. Don't you dare go after my Squovit. I feel like that's what you're trying to do there, buddy. Sure. Actually, I don't know what they're going after, if I'm being honest. I guess the Squovid? Oh, baby. Squovid. Watch out, buddy. But the thing is, if they knock out the Squovid, uh, it doesn't really do anything. Here, buddy. Give him a fight. Give him a fight. Oh, let's go. Squovid gave me the card I wanted. All right, bye bye, Squovit. Yep. <laughs> I, once again, I don't care. If they knock out Squovit. It doesn't mean anything to me. If they knock out the Squovit, I'm like, okay, and like knock nah, attack a Giardina. No item cards in top five. Get out of town. Yeah, so they knocked this out, and then I sent up Giratina V, and then, like, what do they do then? I'm so confused. Sure. And then, like, this is why the deck's so good, because then you're like, sure, yup. I don't have a double turbo, are you crazy? I'd rather just go shredded, dude. Shredded, man. Shred, dude. Okay. Now what they got. We're not evolving to the V-Star. Get out of town. That's not happening, Pokemon. Stop tempting me. Even all comes up. Sure. And then I go shred it, dude. I go shred, man. Piona? Okay. What is this, like, minus something or whatever? Does this go any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon? Is this technically a effect or is this an item card? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure, like, it, life could be wrong either way, so it doesn't matter. Sure. Shredded, dude. Yeah. Okay. Go down to three. Shredded, dude. We can knock out the... Ooh, we can actually watch out this now. Relax comes out. Okay. Pot him to the bench. Arvin. Like, if the pot helmet works, their only way of, like, decking me out is if they continuously, like, go for Penny, go for Penny, go for Penny, which I think is, like, impossible with what they have out. I guess technically it could be, like, it could be possible with, like, Curly's and, and Pal Pads and other stuff, but, like, it's not possible with what they have on board right now, so... I don't think this this deck is like interesting. That's all I could say. Uh, I don't see how you beat a lot of stuff. I guess Lugia you beat because you have like the evil tongs. I don't see how you beat Guardy for with this deck. So. I don't know if that's correct or not. But we're letting happen today. Yeah, they're not gonna smoke the uh the squib, it was definitely like an interesting play. 
But if we have Squover out, they can technically never deck us out either because Squover will constantly put our hand back bottom of our deck. So, like, it's a lose-lose for them regardless with that Squovid. Squovid's, like, the answer to the counter. Holy cow. I just realized that. Because, like, yeah. Whew. Squovid makes a redo deck out. Huh. Interesting. There we go. But that's why Giratina is so good, because you can shred and knock their mill tanks. So, yeah, the deck is good. Test it out. Hope you have a great Friday, great weekend. Uh, nothing regionals-wise, but just give me a subscribe button. We'll see you. If you watch the, the daily reels, we'll have reels tomorrow of me grinding another uh, ladder. Alrighty, guys. Bye.